Late in the spring to early summer each year, I usually find aphids among other pests. The key is to find them early and treat them as soon as possible. Here they are at the corner of the stem and the lateral branch. I almost always find them hovered around the new tender growth near or at the top of my primocanes. At this early stage, I crush many of them by hand and then I make insecticidal soap to finish the job. Next, I'll go over the process of how to make insecticidal soap, but also make sure you stay around at the end of the video as I'll show several other garden pests that I find. A quick and simple way to check for garden pests is just to do a simple leaf examination. So as you can see right here, all these leaves, they look good. They're normal shape, nice green color. But if I go to this other branch and I go towards the top, you can see we've got a leaf that's curled up here. It kind of looks generally unhealthy. It's all curled versus the ones below it. Nice shape, good color. So here's another one. You can see it's kind of curled up. It doesn't look very healthy. Here's that first one. It's curled. So normally what I'll do is I'll just take the leaf, I'll uncurl it, and underneath I'll see lots of aphids or other pests. I had uh, aphids this morning, but I've already cleaned them all off. That's why you don't see them right now. But the leaf is still kind of curled up. And so I'll just do kind of a general look at my leaves as I walk by. Here's some others. It's curled up. These ones are curled versus the normal leaves. All of these had aphids on them this morning. I've already cleaned them all off. That's just kind of a quick tip, easy way to do that. Just walk through your garden and just do a quick leaf check. So I start with a gallon, gallon and a half spray bottle that you can get tractor supply or some other place. Get some orange oil, just some vegetable oil, some dish soap, and sometimes I'll add neem oil. So you can buy it pre-made like this, but it's much more expensive. And this is more economical to make your own, especially if you're gonna be doing it for a while. So the exact amounts I'll put in the description below, but for today I'm doing a gallon and a half. And so I'm gonna do about 20 milliliters of orange oil first. There's 15, add another five. Try not to spill it on yourself like I just did. Next is your vegetable oil, 55 milliliters for a gallon and a half. Now you need the dish soap. 55 milliliters as well. Normally I have a different bottle. This is all I have for today. Sometimes I'll add neem oil as well, depending on what kind of pests I'm trying to get rid of, but not today. Today is just gonna be insecticidal soap. I'll just fill it up. That's about a gallon and a half. I've made the spray and now I go over the top side of the plant, but it's important to turn the nozzle over and spray up under the leaves as well. Now I'll go down the row and spray the top and underside of each blackberry plant.
Here's some more aphids I found on my apple tree. Let's see them right there. They're almost always on the new growth. Just take my insecticidal soap, just give them a little spray. And that's it. Here are a few of the other pests I find in the garden. I believe this one is a type of leaf roller. I sent pictures to the county extension agent and they said this was a twig girdler or possibly a vine borer. You can see the two circular lines around the plant and then whatever is above the top line dies off. Here are some sharpshooters on my apple trees. They try to hide on the opposite side of the branch similar to a squirrel. You can see as I move my hand around one side they will move to the opposite side. I have found yellow sticky traps to be helpful against garden pests. I place them up on the trellis line near the trees and they will attract and catch them quick. Here's my first one just a minute later. And here's one I have put out over a week ago near my cantaloupes, already full. I believe this one is a black and red shield bug or a type of stink bug. Here's a green one. They bite the fruit. The damage to my blackberries could be sun scald or white droplet, but after seeing the shield bugs and stink bugs, it could also be them. I'll send a picture to the county extension agent and see what they say. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.